Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for March 29th of 2024 is titled Galileo's Europa. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image from a couple of decades ago of the one of the moons of Jupiter known as Europa. Now, Jupiter has four large moons, which were actually discovered and seen by Galileo with the telescope in the early 1600s. And there were four small what appeared to be stars and later determined to be moons that were moving with Jupiter out in space. And this was the first time we had ever seen something that was definitely not orbiting our Earth. Now, if we think about that, the time of Galileo, we were still going back and forth between whether the Earth or the sun was at the center of the universe. And one of the big arguments for the Earth centered universe was that everything was orbiting Earth. And here we were seeing that was not the case. So while it didn't prove anything, it was a good piece of circumstantial evidence that bodies could orbit things other than just Earth. Now, named after Galileo was the Galileo spacecraft, which a couple of decades ago traveled through and visited the Jupiter system, and in fact orbited there for a while, and studied the large planet as well as many of its moons, giving us images like the one we look at today. Now Europa is a very interesting moon in that it is a very much a watery world. And while glancing at that you may not expect it. This is actually a surface of ice and in fact mostly water ice. So Europa actually has more water on it than the entire Earth. So if we think about how much this is an object that is about the size of our own moon, and yet there is more water on it than Earth has. Now we tend to think of Earth as the water planet. But in reality, the water on Earth is confined to the very outer layers of the planet. So when we go down a little ways, and in fact, just a few miles, there is essentially no water on Earth as you go all the way down to the core. So the interior portions of the Earth are very dry. Once you get through those outer few miles that contain things like the oceans. Now we're going to continue studying Europa. It is one of the objects in the solar system we look for as possibility of having life. Not on the surface. There's no atmosphere. There's no way to have liquid water on the surface. But there is a liquid ocean down below this icy covering. So if you could go down many miles below, in fact, hundreds of miles down below through this very thick ice, we would find that there is liquid water and could some kind of small life forms have developed there. And in terms of looking for that, we're actually going to be sending uh, the Europa Clipper, and that is scheduled to launch in October, which is going it's planned on orbiting Europa itself and studying that in much more detail. So in a few more years, when the Europa Clipper arrives out in this part of the solar system, we hopefully will learn even more about this very interesting moon of Jupiter. So that was our picture of the day for March 29th of 2024. It was titled Galileo's Europa. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. Preview to be Ptolemy's Astronomy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.